This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung Chromebook XC, XE 500C12 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Samsung Chromebook XE 500C12. Before I get started, a couple of words about this model. There's a model that looks almost identical. It actually looks identical from the outside. It's the XE 503C12, also known as the 503C, as compared to this model, which is the 500C. And the screen that it uses is different. So make sure you've watched this video for the 500C instead of the other one for the 503C if you have the 500C. And uh, the way to tell the difference is to look on the label on the bottom of the laptop and it's in two places by the barcode it says XE 500 C12 as compared to the XE 503 C12 and also at the top there's says model XE 500 C12 as compared to the 503 C12 we also have a video for the 503 C12 on YouTube so, so you can search for that but make sure you order the right screen for the right model. Okay, so once we figure out the right model, we want to make sure that the power is off on the laptop. There's uh, The battery is not easily removable, so you don't want to remove the battery. Instead, you want to make sure that the power is turned off. And the way you do that is, if the laptop is on, you long press the power button for three or four seconds until it turns off or you can just turn it off using the operating system inside the laptop. If you accidentally turn on the laptop during the procedure by accidentally pressing the button just do a long press and turn this button off. Okay next step is to show you the tools that we're going to be using. Uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 0 is the screwdriver size. Then we have a pair of metal tweezers that's to remove any screws that may be stuck or manipulate cables or wires and we can also use it to pry things open. And finally a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end and that's to pry things open and to lift up adhesive tape. So the first thing we need to do to get to the screen assembly is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. Uh, this model does not have any screws securing it, so we just pry it off. We just uh, It snaps off. And the way you do this is you use your fingernails, go around the inside of the bezel, and find a place where you can get a good grip with your fingernails, and then gently start prying upwards and outwards and you'll hear some snapping sounds and in this matter go all the way around the bezel and if you find you get stuck at a certain point keep going past that point and come back to that point later down the road and keep going like this and same on the bottom just keep Prying it off and come back to the points where you get stuck. Once you pry it off, the bezel is still not going to come off because there's a seam on the back that we have to loosen up. And what we do for that is grab our hobby knife and start prying open the seam with the hobby knife. And Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Just take your time on this and eventually it'll come off. Just go all the way down. Once you do that, you can, you can take the screen bezel off. And then we can put the screen bezel to the side. Once you take the screen bezel off, we can remove the screen from the back of the screen assembly by removing the four screws on each side that are mounted on metal mounting tabs that are attached to the screen itself. 
So with the laptop tilted back a little bit, you want to remove the four screws using the screwdriver that we have and put them aside in a separate pile. And three and four. Okay, once we remove the screws, we can take the screen out using uh, our fingernails and gently separate the screen from the back of the screen assembly and laying down, being careful not to press the power button. Okay, for this type of screen, there's one connector. And the first thing in order to remove the connector is we want to remove the adhesive tape that's securing the connector. And we can either use our fingernail or the hobby knife, if you want, to lift up the adhesive tape that's on top of the connector. Okay, and the second thing to do is there's a thin metal bar that's holding the connector together. You want to use the hobby knife to pry up this metal bar and sometimes it can be more difficult but it can be done so we pry up this metal bar and then to get some more room to get some more cable room to play with we remove the connector from the cable from the catch that's holding it so we can have more access to it and then once we do that we pull the connector out so before I go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. You slide the connector in, and then pull the bar down, and that makes sure that the connector is secured. Let's get a close-up of a connector, the way it sh should be properly connected. There, pause the video right here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove the, lift up the bar again and remove the connector and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP slim screen. Uh, for the 503C, the other Chromebook that looks almost identical to it, the screen looks also almost identical to the other one, but the screen in the 50C will have a bigger connection connector. This connector is a 30-pin connector, and the 503C will have a 40-pin connector. So that's the only difference, and the two screens are not interchangeable, so make sure you order the right screen. The part number for this particular screen is B116XTN01. Point zero. Now, when you do get your new screen in, the part number most likely will be different, but as long as the connector is 30 pin and the screen looks the same, it will be compatible. The other thing to note about this is that this screen has a matte finish as compared to a glossy finish, and uh, both types of finishes are common, so if you have a preference for one or the other, make sure you specify it when you get when you place the order. Otherwise, you can't be sure if you get the matte or the glossy finish. Okay, uh, you, can order, you can also order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons, and we guarantee you that we'll ship you a compatible screen that it will work with this laptop model. Also with us, you get a two-year warranty on uh, defects, and also this exact same toolkit that I use in this video comes for free with this screen and we ship for free using priority mail in the United States so you get it within two or three days of your order. If you live outside of the United States then we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure in our store and select your country. To order this screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out on the laptop model and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. Once you do get the screen in, reconnect it as I showed you. Make sure that the cable is mounted in the plastic catch after you reconnect the screen. Mount the screen 
in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. You have to work the screen bezel down a little bit and maybe tilt the angle of the screen assembly, but it's, it's pretty easily done. Uh, once you do that uh, and snap the screen bezel back on, the laptop should be ready and you can start working again. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.